working with projects, it happens that you like to be able to reuse information. Normally, you would do this through the use of libraries, but in some case, uh, it's necessary to export a package and re-import the data as a distinct copy. What we're going to do here is kind of walk through a sample where we do just that. So right now what I'm doing is I'm kind of designing some fixturing up and making some little modifications to my fixtures. Here I'm going to use my first vise that's at major revision A right now. I'm going to locate it on the table of this machine. And I'm using uh, just frame to frame positioning. No big deal. That's done. I'm going to check that in. That cam file is ready to, to use. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to start affecting some changes to some of the parts that I use. For example, on the parallel for my vise, I'm going to make a couple of basic changes. First of all, I'm going to change the color. No big deal. After that, I may change the width of the part. So I do that, I right click, I go down to edit and realize, oops, I made a mistake. I'm editing the extrusion. That's not what I want. So I'm just going to cancel and I'm going to go over and edit the sketch. That's really what I wanted. And I'll make a quick little change. It'll be subtle, 198 millimeters. Cool. But these changes are enough to affect revision. So I'm going to go ahead and check this in. Perfect. And I may even go and close the life cycle on it. We'll validate that. Here we now have two versions of, or major versions, of this part. Major version A, major version B. And now I just need to update the references where it's being used. So for example, I go to my vice, and I now notice that the vice is ready to be redirected. Oops, I forgot to update something, my family. So we're going to go ahead and update the family document. Just open it, save it, check it in. It's going to update all the files needed. And now when I go back into my vice, you can see that now my new revision is present. Okay, so we're nearly at where the improvement we're talking about is going to happen. So here now I'm going to validate that life cycle. So now I have a vice with version major version A, major version B. I'm going to update references on a few places as well. Perfect. Done. And then from there, we should be able to start putting together the, the final assembly. Oh, sorry, missed one more. I'm going to validate that. Okay, now let's go and use that vice somewhere else. How about on my DMU70 Evo? So I'm going to go back, grab my vice. We'll drag and drop it in. We'll position it, of course. Oh, I think we forgot to check something in again. Now we'll add the vice. We'll position it. Perfect. Done. We're going to save and check this in as well. So now we have two CAM files that have two different revision levels of our vices present. Okay? From here now, what we're going to do is we're going to export all of this as a package. Again, just showing you, you have multiple revisions in use, major version B, major version A, of our standard vice, all their different revisions, and so on. So now where the new improvement in Top Solid 2017 comes into play is once we export all of this, when we import it as a copy, all of the major revisions are maintained. I'll show you what I mean. So here I right-clicked on my folder. I'm going to export everything, devices, the machine assemblies, everything as, let's call it cnc.top package. From there, I'm going to make a new folder within the same project, and this could be in a new project. It doesn't really matter. We're called CNC, and I'm going to right-click on the folder, and I'm going to go ahead and import. So I'm going to import export, import package. I choose my CNC package. Again, we're just going to have a look. We'll validate, and now it's reading in all of that data. And if we look now, everything has been maintained. If we look at our major minor revisions for the standard vice across the board for our assembly for each part. Everything is still present, but it's imported as a copy. So all revisioning is maintained, and then you could continue from there with the new project.